Hey, this is Pizza Dude Man Guy, and this topic was suggested by Potted Plant 7460. On one hand, yeah, you might run into a problem where if you have another Pokemon trainer, they're too similar to the original. On the other hand, maybe that's not too bad having one more character like that, as long as the three Pokemon they're switching between are totally different. However, I am going to use the remainder of this video to topic about a dream pick of mine. One of my favorite games of all time is Pokemon Coliseum. So just for fun, I conceptualized a moveset idea for the trainer from that game quite a while ago. Uh, the basic premise is because Pokemon Coliseum is all about double battles, you always have two Pokemon out. And in this case, I picked Makuhita because it is the tutorial first shadow Pokemon you get in that game and then either Espeon or Umbreon. When you use the Pokemon Switch, it switches between those two. So the character is a little Ice Climbers-ish, except Espeon and Umbreon are not uh, targetable. They appear a little bit in the foreground ahead of Makuhita, um, and so all Ma they do is support with certain special moves and uh, kind of jump in for double attacks. It's like a, a striker in other more traditional fighting games. So essentially, you're playing as Makuhita with a striker, switching between Espeon and Umbreon for different abilities and effects. Makuhita, however, works as a shadow Pokemon from those games. So one of his special moves is the uh, Shadow Rush, which is a recoil like Charizard's Flare Blitz, and maybe you could have some kind of hyper mode mechanic. I hadn't worked out the details of that yet. Otherwise, it's pretty much a Makuhita move set. Um, and then the final smash, I think, would have to include um, some kind of a big attack with Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Uh, so I guess that would be his party then. Um, and that was my idea there. I just really wanted to share it. I, I wish we had anything from Coliseum. Just even one song, man. Ugh.